All right, this is 2021st China's Math Olympia, fill in the blank question number seven. So here we're given a fair die, we're gonna throw three times, we're gonna get numbers, let's call them A1, A2, A3. Of course, the numbers on the six sides would be one to six, right? Assuming they're fair, which means each side is equal opportunity. Assume that each throw, which experiment is independent with these, is each other. So here the question is, with these three outcome here, A1, A2, A3, three numbers, what is the probability that the event, for the event that the absolute value of the differences, the mutual differences is equal to six, all right? So if you throw the die, you get one, two, three, then you plug it in, it won't satisfy this, so it won't count in this event, right? So in this case, you know, two, one, and, uh, and two, three, that's one, and three, one, and that's uh, uh, two, so the total value is six, is not. On the other hand, if you have one, two, four, then the mutual di difference is gonna be one, it's gonna be two, and this one is gonna be three. One, two, three, equal to six, okay? So how do we solve this problem? All right, why don't you pause the video and try to solve it yourself? Okay, let's continue. So I think it's good to review what is the geometric meaning of the difference of two numbers. You know, in the number nine, right? So if you have the real number nine here, this is a zero, and you have any two points, let's call it A1 and A2, and the distance between two numbers here would be, okay, here's the distance, so the distance here is going to be a1 minus a2. So that means the, di the distance you know, between the points, right? So what about three points, right? So here we have the mutual distance, right? So let's look at it, right? So assume this is a1 and this is a2. The may not be in the same order. Let's say if the A3 is here, right? So what are the three quantities? A1 minus A2 measures the distance between the two points. In this case, two points are far away points. So I'm gonna write here, right? This is the first term, right? This is the first term. Now the second term is a2 and a3, so which is the distance between 3 and a2. Okay, this is the second quantity here, this is the first quantity, and the third quantity is a3 minus a1. Alright, so let's look at it, this a3 minus a1. Okay, so this is the third quantity. Notice that when the when you add it up is equal to twice of the of the two points that is farthest with each other, like a one, a two. So this is equal equal to two a one minus a two in this case. All right. Of course, the number could be in any arbitrary order, right? So you you may have another case where this is in terms of a y in the smallest. You may have, you know, a. Let's say. You may have a three smallest, you know, a y in the middle, and then a two at the end. But no matter how you change the order, is always the distance between the smallest and the biggest, and then is like a trice of that. So, which means in our case, 
we're saying the whole thing equal to six. So which means the distance between the smallest and the largest would be three, all right? So what we get is, for this condition, we, we know that the max and the mean of three number, the difference would be three, all right? So in another, in other words, earlier we said uh, if you throw one to four, the distance happens to six because the smallest is one, the biggest is four, four minus one equals three, right? You can try out uh, with any other combinations, right? So now once we identify the, the key information about the three numbers, which is the max minus mean equal three, then we know um, the in order to throw the die and get this uh, event, what do you get? What the possible values are either the smallest is one, this is the smallest, this is the mean, and this is the max. The max would be would be four, or mean is two, max would be five, mean is three, max would be six. There's no other possibilities. All right, so in each case, if the mean is one and max is four, the other number, you know, because you have three experiments, three throws, right? This could be anything between one and four. This could be one or two or three or four, right? Here, this could be between anyone between two and five, right? Two, three, four, and five. And similarly, this would be three, four, five, six. So that would be all the possible combination of A1, A2, A3. Now, let's look at one in particular. If the mean is one and, uh, you know, so mean is one, max is four. Now, if the other value is one or four, right? So, because when you throw it, it the number could appear in any order, right? In this case, if two, one, one, four, or two, four, one, one, so each case would have three possibilities. In other words, one, one, four could have three possibilities because four could happen in the first position or the second position or the last position. All right, so if there is a 441 seminary, there is three possibilities. So in this case, if you have one or four, so the total would be would be uh, six six possible combinations, right? But you can also be two or three, in which case all number are distinct. So you have three outcome is one, two, and four. All number distinct, you know that there are total six, because order doesn't really matter. Six, which is uh, three vectoria uh, cases. So in this case, um, each one would have six, right? And then the total would be, would be 12 possible cases. So in, in, the, in the case of minimum is one, maximum is four, and the number in between total would be 18 possible, you know, cases, right? For the outcomes, you know, 18 different outcomes. Now, similarly, for two and five, you know, each would have 18 outcomes, right? So the total would be 54 outcomes where the the result satisfies this equation, right? But if you throw up three dice for three times, each with six possibilities, right? One to six. So the, the all outcome would be six to the third power, right? This is the total set. And the event that you're interested in is only 54 out of the total here. So if you expand it out, 
because this is a six times nine, right? So six times six square, cancel, cancel. And then, you know, you divide by three here, you left four here, right? You divide nine here. So it's, so the final answer is 25%, um, you know, one out of four cases, right? So this problem is interesting, but uh, it's good to, you know, uh, connect this problem with your algebra knowledge about um, an absolute value or sum of the absolute value, how to uh, understand the geometric meaning of it. And then once you know that uh, the mean and max must be three, then you can just uh, do some, you know, enumeration of uh, different cases, find out that there are actually uh, 54 um, out of uh, the total possible combination, and then you got the probability is one, one fourth. All right. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoy it. Please um, leave comments if you would like to suggest any other topics. Thank you.